out audible. I feel like I'm in and out audible. I'm gonna switch headsets. Okay, yeah, we're getting right into it here. Ling Ling off of a big win on Sinji just yeah, that, a moment ago. What a great timeout for him, honestly. He played very patient, very, very well. Now, this should also be a pretty slow matchup, all things considered. Uh, yes, but we do have... I, I feel like Ling can't play the same no. patient way that he can against uh, Pac-Man. Yeah, know what turnips I mean? are worse. They're a lot worse. Not only because of p Pocket, but because... Like, he has an easier way to get rid of him with Slingshot. Dude, his turn, yeah. his turn up luck today has been insane. I know. He Crazy. had all four of them. I know. That one set. I mean, it was a long set. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think that, like, Peach really can camp Villager. I think it's mostly going to be Ling Ling trying to, like, poke his way in, which is what we're seeing. And, I mean, Ling Ling doing a pretty good job of it. Right yeah. there, that dash attack being very important. Very important, but not enough to kill quite yet. Float is so good against Lloyd. You don't need to, like, do the very obvious jump in or retreating jump to get rid of it. He can just kind of float and wait. But then again, I feel like there is counterplay if you are Pokalam. If you see Flo Peach floating at that exact height, you do still have forward air. <sighs> and I killed him. Yeah, that, yeah, that no, move got buffed, right? It's, it did, it, not in the most recent patch, but it got buffed before. Generally, got yes. buffed. It's so strong. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that fresh back air kills so early. Mid-stage. He has oh. the winky face. That's a really good combo starter. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this damage that Ling Ling is able to do immediately. 55%. Yeah. And Pokolam now kind of trying to find a way to get hits of its own. But Ling Ling keeps treating. Oh, oh, as I say that. Nice pratfall. That was actually really smart. Yeah, it feels like once Ling is in the corner, then Pokalam's game plan can really begin. Yeah, I, I actually don't know if you saw that right there, but Peach doing the back air or the fair, and then she lands, she actually pancakes under a place where uh, Slingshot can hit her, which is actually very important. And Villager's out of shield game is pretty much just Nair, and kind of up smash, but like mostly Nair. And like, I think... Wing is pretty free to just kind of dare his shield and bear his shield and bear his shield as long as he's spaced, which I think is going to be also pretty important in, like, killing. Uh, so I love the use of the invincibility from yeah. Pocket in order to help out with the recovery. There are tiny little things in here that uh, it feels like the disadvantage from Pokemon is pretty good right now. Yeah. I really like the retreats here. Yeah, Wing never messes that up. That whole... Auto cancel side B. He's always gonna be at the perfect range, and that dash attack goes through the Lloyd. He blooms himself up after, but it was well worth it for getting the kill. I wonder if Pokemon's gonna get antsy for a kill. He doesn't need to. Wow. Okay. Like giving him a pretty bad air dodge right into his axe. Three and a half minutes is pretty much. Whoa. Oh my God! He's, he has those. You know what? It might be a wood chip combos. That he oh, just knows. Oh, yeah, Maybe. definitely. Not that it might be more generous wood chip combos. Yeah. I mean, they're both plants. They are. Three minutes left on the Wow! He neared through the Lloyd and ended up behind him. That cross-up was so hard to react to. And the villager grab is not very good. So he has to do, like, a, a full committal turnaround yeah. grab. No, no, way, that's right it. Through him. No. Oh my goodness, you saw how close he was. Yeah, and the momentum cancel yeah. from that up B was the, uh, the, the side B was huge. Ah, uh, it's not over yet. 88. You can definitely get it guarded here. Looks for the bowling ball. Nice tomahawk. So smart. And again, in lasted scenarios, Ling is so unnaturally good. He's, he's got no no nerves at all. Oh, <laughs> I mean. He's, oh no! Ah, he might not have nerves, ah. but he got a little bit antsy at he the did. end there. He did. It was, it was a pretty good attempt, but it's just that Pokeylam didn't give him the, the jump that he obviously wanted there. I mean, didn't he dash grab? Oh, he did a fair first. The fair on his shield from behind. Was that when he spot dodged? 
Yeah, then he spot dodged into the grab and then got. got oh, yeah, no, okay, yeah. So I'm just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ultimately, it was the spot dodging of the dash grab that let Pokemon yes, get that down smash. Yes. Okay. And that grab wouldn't have even killed. Like, it's obviously you have to keep your opponent Stitch. From holding shield. Off oh, rip! Oh, and no. he caught it? He's I pocketing pocketed it. it. He's keeping oh, that for no. later. Oh. And then he can whip it out in the middle of his own combo. He can. I don't know if he's got those. But honestly, with, with how he was doing with the other turnip, he probably has those. I mean, not only, well, he doesn't even necessarily need it to be like, you know, like, it was oh like, my like God. in a moment where he has advantage, he can push that advantage If that further. broke his shield, he would have been the most intelligent player. Instead, he's only like a, a pretty, half, pretty big, half, yeah, half he's like big the ring. tenth most intelligent player. <laughs> You know the funny thing? It seems like Pokalam is pretty experienced in this matchup, despite the fact that uh, Peach is a character that notoriously did not perform well on Wi-Fi. Yeah, she's like one of the worst characters that gets hit the hardest between offline and, and uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, like Pokalam is definitely good. Like top ten. All yeah. Online, she was bottom two. She was really bad. Okay, he's not getting Edge Guards on Villager pretty much at all, which I. I guess is not very surprising. What a good catch! And then he hit the other one? His item play is insane! That was so good. It's so good, but it didn't actually keep him from dying. No, no, he still died, but it's it like was a cool. It's like a consolation prize. Yeah, you were cool. <laughs> Who's his quarters? Wow, one of these guys is going to get a fifth. I mean, Pokemon already well placing outside of his uh, projected Seed. seeding. I think yeah. he was seeded 12. Something like that. Yeah, and he had a... Who did he have the big upset on? Was it Jen? No, I don't, he didn't no, beat no, Jen. No, no, Quid beat Jen. Yeah. I um, remember he beat somebody, but I can't remember who. For, regardless, though, a lot of the top seeds did get upset in this tournament. It's been a oh, very yeah. crazy bracket. John got, like, John got went, like, two and two. <laughs> really? Venya lost to player four. It's been a crazy tournament. Yeah, oh, John lost to Mr. L in losers. Yes. Hard, hard matchup. I think he's fine. Yeah, that tree's not going to come off. If, if it did, he would have been in a rough spot. Yeah, 175. That bear's going to do it. It's, it's so interesting because... Like, obviously, Ling has to be the one that comes in. And he's he is the one that's approaching. But whenever he wants to back off and just play it slow, it's like Pokemon can't catch up with him. He's like allowing him to do it. Whenever he wants to like reset neutral, to pull a turn up and then come back in. Villager is not quick enough to really do anything about that. Wow. Ooh. That's a combo move. Yeah, no, at that, especially at those lower percents. It yeah. combos and it kills. Yes. And it comes out pretty fast. It's extremely fast. Good at, good at a shield move. Hard to punish on your own shield. It's extremely good move. He's trying to cheese him with the bowling ball. That I don't know if, if, if it would have killed, but it would have gotten very close. Oh, I, I think bowling ball. At this I think it would have killed. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why, but I, but it would have. <laughs> yeah, he's looking oh, for that bowling yeah. ball. The wing's not going to do those like aggressive float ins though. As I say, he gets hit by the bowling ball by doing an aggressive float in. But like, oh. he's usually a lot more passive. So, do you think that it's also by showing the bowling ball constantly, he's trying to condition Link from doing specific options? I think it like. It's an aggression check. It's like you can't just float in on me and like hit your plus aerials. Or not plus, but close to plus aerials. But like Ling already kind of knows that. Ooh. Wow, that was hard tech because he did the hit the balloon I first. I thought that was Red Sparks. I don't think it was, but it could have been. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he lets him get away with it. <laughs> just like down at the bowling alley dodging yeah. the balls, dude. Yeah, I, I don't know if bowling ball was the play there. I, I know you want him dead, but... I mean, I don't necessarily disagree with it that much. I think it's honestly amazing that Ling Ling managed to dodge every single one of them. Yeah. That speaks more to Ling Ling's ability to space than it does to Pokemon's option. It so does. Like. And his foot movement is just so consistently really good. Ooh. Hits him for it. Oh, we got the weak Nair into Bear. That's actually perfect for him. And there's... there's and the, it goes... They go through the Lloyd. I think he did. So that's so disjointed and powerful that it just breaks Lloyd and she doesn't get hit. That's actually super important. He's been narrowing through it and like crossing him up on shield, which has been very, very good. But he can also just bear through, which is insane. Yeah, so now that we're moving on to game three, it's the sort of thing where uh, 
We have to... <laughs> okay. Uh, like, it feels like Pokemon has to be getting a crazy stock in order to take the game. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's doing all right. He's definitely doing all right. But I like the idea. I actually think the idea of him throwing out those bowling balls was... It was calculated. You know, it was. Sort of respecting the fact that Ling is a really good player and his neutral has just been so, so good that he needs to be making those game-changing plays yeah. in order to win. Which, like, I get why he does that in terms of respect for, for Ling as a player because he's, of course, very, very good. But I, I don't think he needs to, to really be doing that. I, I really do think, like, the slow, patient game can work here. Like, I don't think that bowling ball, it wouldn't have killed. Like, you don't need that type of punish. I mean, I feel like the, you were right up before also about that bowling ball just being in a kind of aggression check. Yeah. At these lower percent, I think it's just to stop Ling from going in, going for those aerials, that, especially at lower percents, end up leading. Oh, time. my goodness. Oh. Excellent coverage. He threw the, threw the turn up knowing he's probably going to pocket this, and he was there for the punish. But, yeah, in, in terms of those aggression checks, I, again, I feel like they haven't been working, and he's been getting hit for them. They're not a bad idea in theory, but in practice, I, I don't know. That's a dot eyes, which does tons of damage. Look, it's like 18 damage. Yeah, I mean, look how tiny that made that shield. And yeah. given that small shield, we see wow. the, uh, Pokemon trying to turn on the aggression, but Ling Ling able to get out of it and respond in kind. Yeah. With this 36% already. Turn up to dash attack. He's just kind of, like, he's not doing these crazy peach combos. He's just hitting with, like, one twos. And it's an extension of leave I've ever seen one. It's really, really good right now. Okay, Pokemon Lamb now at 91%. He's been lapped. Yeah. As Ling just seems, still seems in control. It feels like, it feels like Pokemon Lamb hasn't figured out what he needs to be doing so fundamentally differently in order to make a comeback happen. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> it looks kind of mashy, but the Nair uh, spot dodge up smash is extremely hard to punish, and it could have just very much killed Ling. He's now up to three stocks to one, though, and this is the last game of the set. Yeah, Pokalam once again looking for that. The dot eyes does so much. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. He's at 41 already. Back yeah, throw. that killed him super early. I don't think that was very good. Uh, he was at like 140. He was like a 128 after the hit. I, I thought. Really? I think so. Uh, I think he was at 140 after the hit. Maybe he was. Maybe he was. 140 after the hit, was he? I, <sighs> who's it? You're supposed to be our eye in the sky, <laughs> Ace. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, yeah, he's taking this so slow. That's a great throw because she's I invincible for a long time. And a perfect setup onto the platform to get that up smash. Just the opting for the counter there. Oh my goodness. This is looking rough now. I'm, it, at what point was it not looking yeah, rough for Pokalam? Like, he's just too high now. Peach has a bunch of kill options. Down at this here to percent. beat out the Lloyd? Yeah. Anything beats out that Lloyd, man. The dare, the, the, the bear, the nair, the fair. He's going to recover, but like... Easy, though. <laughs> Excellent, excellent edge guard. That was so smart. He had the turn up and he was like, I'm not going to D drop this because I don't know which way he's going to.